Welcome everybody, you join us here for our coverage of what is set to be a truly exciting final. Formalities are underway, everybody is soaking up an energetic, highly charged atmosphere within the ground. The teams will be with us very shortly. We look forward, of course, to that special moment. In the meantime, we take in the feeling of excitement and euphoria ahead of what should be a really outstanding final. We have terrific scenes in front of us at the Estadio do Dragao, one of the biggest venues in Portugal. Both teams, Jim, eyeing the ultimate prize here, unerring focus and determination in all of those eyes. Yes, Peter, I've been a, a winning finalist and I've been a, a losing finalist and I don't need to tell anyone what I preferred. Winning will help fans remember you for a long, long time. So I sincerely wish both teams well and hope that all the players can give a good account of themselves and, and you've heard it before, may the best team do it. we're on the way as with a lot of finals caution plays a big part in the opening stages but an early goal can blow all that away so I hope that we can um, create a, a, an attacking contest here which, which obviously we want for this showpiece Bujalski De Pena his flag offside Pietov sends that a long way. And it's Bielski. Looks to thread it through. It's a goal kick. And it's played forward. Dodo. Stepanenko. Good spell of possession, this, but very little to show for it. Koroplyanka pushes to get on the end of it. Gets it back. Konoplyanka. Michael. Hoists it forward. And he just whacks it away. Oh, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and uh, excitement, forget it. Defence has got rid of that. Yeah. 
And now they can launch a counter. Kodopienka going full steam ahead down the left flank. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. And no surprise, that's a booking. Partially clear. Tries a shot! Cleared without complication. Patrick. Koroplienka. He's pinged one through here. Bujalski. Great run on the overlap here. And he's cut it out. Patrick tries to get it forward quickly. He's through, now is he in? Big chance! Konopienka. Oh, the referee's booking him here for a dive. It's a good spot. I think the replays will prove he was 100% correct with that decision. Dodo plays it forward. Well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. We all love a trier, Peter, but the wiser choice would have been ball into box. Whistle's gone, and we've reached the halfway point of the final. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. So, Jim, the halfway point of the final, what are you thinking? Well, with it being a final, caginess is to be expected. Each obviously wants it badly, but neither wants to find themselves behind, and, and that's the issue now. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. And we are already promptly back on the way. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully they've been saved for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, we'll need to see more energy and invention early on. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. And that's a goal kick. Shakhtar Donetsk have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Forward it goes. Saif Garnkov provides an outlet. He's had a shot! And he's found the net! Could that be the start of something big? Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled.
big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Well, Peter, the emphasis should now switch to winning it rather than even thinking about losing it. And back to base. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And the defence can get it clear. I think that's offside, yes it is. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. In with the challenge. Bujalski. And it's Bujalski. It's a brilliant interception. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. And the counter is on. And it's been taken straight back. Bujalski. He spotted the run and played him through. Big chance to get at them. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Michael. He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. And that's going to be a booking. <laughs> Away from immediate danger. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Well, Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. And it's Antonio. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Tries to get it clear. All oh, the balls come loose. Triore. He gets past his man. Played into the middle. Shakhtar Donetsk are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. That's a throw. Bujalski, he's picked him out, good take, goes for goal, he scored!
A two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Dinamo Kiev could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Well, some fans are already on their way out, so that to me says everything, Peter. And it's played forward. Triori. has gone out time for a change in personnel well he's worked so hard for his side uh, as you would expect but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to to labor a bit so it's no surprise the final whistle Dinamo Kiev are the winners the ceremony is fitting their triumph has been beautiful indeed so on to center stage come the central characters the individuals who as a team blended into champions and this is their moment